Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I am going to talk about how, what to do in 2025 if you are a data engineer. And as you guys know that I am going to visit US in the next month, not next month, in this month only on a business uh, a visa. And I'm going to also tell you like, you know, where I will be staying and how I got this opportunity from my company. Okay, so that you can also follow the roadmap if you want. So the first thing I will be talking about the US thing, like, you know, how you can get a visa and how you can, uh, you know, uh, get this opportunity. And second thing I will be talking about, like, you know, uh, like what should you be learning uh, for the rest of the year? Okay. So the first thing is, see, I joined this company where I'm, I'm, I'm into, I'm into physical analytics and I'm a, I'm a data engineer over there as well as solution engineer. Okay. So I joined that company last year and it was an early startup. We were only two guys, you know, when I joined, right, that company last year. And now we are almost a good numbers of employees. We have it. And so we are building a product called Lake Fusion. Okay. Lake Fusion, nothing but a, uh, you know, like a MDM platform, which is, which built on nat native to Databricks. Okay. So if you don't know my MDM, you can just search in Google. You'll, you'll get to know if you want to uh, get the, get the demo, or if you want a demo, then please reach out to me. I will connect with your sales team. Then they can, they can connect with you and you guys can, you know, get a demo in your, for your company. Right. Okay. That's a different story. Now, how I got and see, first of all thing, if you join a startup, you have a lot of responsibilities. Okay. You have to do a lot of work. See, I was there. I was into the Musk, right? That was a product based company, very good company. The package was decent, right? I was, I was like enjoying my life. Then I, I was like, okay, let's do something else. So I joined this company startup. So I was, I'm totally uh, on, on, honestly speaking, I'm doing a lot of work there. Okay. And that's, this is the reason I'm not able to make uh, or shoot more videos, you know? So this is one of the reasons, but it's a good thing for me because I have only five or six years of experience in the IT and I am learning a lot of new, new things. So last year when I joined that company, we, I was learning Gen AI vector search. Okay. And now after one year, I know many things of vector search. I know many things of Gen AI. And nowadays, you if you know, companies are doing layoff because of AI, because of AI. And companies, if they are not doing layoff, they are asking their employees to work to build some AI uh, stuff, right? Like AI automation, do something, something else. Right. So that what they are doing. And now in this stage, I already know all these things. So even though if this startup gets failed or fail, right, then, I mean, I can easily get a job, right? So because I'm learning the new stuff. So whenever you do join a startup, this is the advantage that you learn a new skill set only. Because, see, a startup, may, they, they're not going to, uh, you know, uh, build something old, right? They're going to build for future, right? So that's that's been happening for last uh, one and a half year. And... Um, now, you know, I'm stable, like I'm getting a lot of time, free time. And now I'm a kind of senior over there. So this is one of the benefits. And hence, this is the reason uh, my manager, my directors wanted to, you know, wanted to, wanted to, wanted me to uh, go there in the US. And so that we can do some meetings or, you know, decide, I mean, and, and make some plans, you know, for the company. So this is one of the reason and how you can get these kind of opportunities that see wherever you are, right? Wherever in which company you are working, whether service based company, purpose based company, try to give more, more ideas to your managers, to your leader. Don't hesitate. Sometimes your idea might be, might not be good, but sometimes your idea might be very very good and your managers your director will understand like you are you are trying trying by yourself to you know uh, to to help uh, the company right so this is what i always do like in the previous company also i used to do the same thing and in this company also you i'm i'm doing the same thing Want, whatever knowledge i have okay let's give to others let's let's talk to my manager let's to, to talk to my director hey we can do this no we can do this we can achieve this by doing this we can increase the revenue by doing this we can reduce the uh, you know our the expenses by doing this 
it's all these you know examples whenever you give to your uh, to your uh, managers to your directors to your leadership people then they will understand that you are interested and you have that knowledge maybe see i'm holding 5 years experience someone holding 12 years experience doesn't matter right see your brain is something else other other person brain works in a different way right so don't hesitate to you know discuss idea with your seniors and it will definitely help you a lot apart from this if you're looking for a startup jo i mean if you're if you're looking for uh, you know to work with a startup explore linkedin search uh, like you know data analytics ceo or search for ceos you will get a list of ceos early startup ceos who have already built a startups then send a connection request to them talk to them if you are really talented they will take you right and if you if you are not also you, you can learn it and then you can also apply right that's not a problem so this is the one thing what i wanted to uh, tell you and i'm okay and second thing is that see this is now this is 25 we have only 4 years sorry we have only 4 months left better to learn start learning agentic ais llms uh vector search embeddings and so so right and don't forget to learn databricks stick to databricks i am a partner i mean my company is a partner of databricks we know what databricks is doing and if you know databricks uh has reached uh, uh how 100 billion valuation right has caused 100 billion billion valuation and they are they are they are you know raising a fund based on 100 billion valuation so you know right what are the potential of the of that company many investors are ready to put their money in this company that's why their valuation is going up right so so if you are if you are a data engineer don't go with the adf do, don't go with some other technologies stick to databricks learn new new concepts like databricks app dashboard we have agentic ai over there also we have llm uh, vector search right and then ml in architecture what we we used to have it learn all these things and try to build the project if you are interested to build uh, the project which has llm vector search and all those stuff you can check out my courses i already have created two courses over there one is a uh, rag rag chatbot Second one is POGR invoice automation using vector search and LLM. Okay, so you can check out those things. And also, I'm going to start a, a training, live training on um, Gen AI and LLM uh, from 20th of September. I will be sharing the link soon. Okay, and the timing will be 6 p.m. IST to 8.30 p.m. IST, right? Uh, Saturday and Sunday, right? And it will be an eight-week course. So if you want, and also if you want some other project courses, PySpark interview questions, Python questions, AD of course, you can reach out and you you can check out my courses on my link on on my uh, website. I will give the link in the description box. Okay, and going forward, and um, apart from this, I yet to publish one free course, uh, data engineering end-to-end -end free course. I'm gonna publish it by fifteenth of September, where I will be covering everything end to end but that uh, that uh, course will be very basic but i will ex try to explain you each concept like dlt serverless vector search and those things if it is needed right and i will be using a free edition also so that you guys can also make it so till then i hope you have understood it please watch this video till the end and if you are here please subscribe it and share with your friends and please do visit my website why i'm saying ai is booming if you don't know ai i'm i'm not saying that you should be a very perfect guy in ai and uh, vector search or these gen ai things you will not be in two three months but at least you should know the basic stuff how to use it how to leverage those concepts and and um, integrate in your data engineering stuff or project right till then thank you thank you we'll meet you in the next lecture